Much to the joy of many, myself included, President Biden is adopting a much more ruthless and rhetorically aggressive posture against Donald Trump, constantly mocking and questioning his mental fitness and frequently, incessantly referring to him by his least favorite word. And according to sources close to Trump, it's working. It's triggering him and getting under his skin. But before we unpack all that, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and alert buttons before you go. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, friends, we have several clips to play in this video. They're all great. You're going to love them. But before we play any of them, I just want to set the stage because one of the things I complain about the most on this channel is the asymmetry of expectation, which constantly weighs Democrats down. And quite frankly, much of it is self-imposed because for years we've adopted this ethic that the Michelle Obama ethic, when they go low, we go high. And I don't know if that has much place in 2024 politics. And President Biden's reelection campaign seems to be at least understanding that, that, you know, in today's politics, it's okay to be strategically and carefully ruthless. And one such example is the fact that they like to troll Donald Trump. The Biden-Harris reelection campaign loves to troll Donald Trump and MAGA, and I love it. I think much of the base loves it, and I think even some independents and moderates like it as well, that they're bringing some tenacious, ruthless energy to a campaign. And usually that energy is brought by Republicans and MAGA themselves. And the Biden-Harris campaign just dropped a great ad which is designed to troll Donald Trump, maximally troll Donald Trump. And they went so far as to post it on Truth Social. Have you seen this new ad at Real Donald Trump? And with that in mind, I want to play the ad itself. It's great. Enjoy. Be confused. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. They don't want to talk about that. He didn't just get me confused. He mentioned it over and over and over again. Yeah. He's not what he was in 2016. He has declined. That's a fact. I mean, we won last time. We won 50 states, right? This is not Donald Trump of 2016, guys. What? What is? If he is off the teleprompter, he can barely keep a, co a cogent thought. I mean, that's just fact. We are an institute. In a powerful death penalty, we will put this on. I think he's declining. I stumbled and mumbled purposely. I do speak in long, complex sentences, and I have a lot of material in each sentence. You have voter ID to buy a loaf of bread. You have, you have ID to buy a loaf of bread. Have you noticed? He's a little confused these days. A person close to Trump actually says that he's rattled by Biden's efforts to get under his skin. And you see the dark Brandon aura looming behind the ad. It's great. Listen, basically everybody in that ad short of Biden and Jonathan Carl from ABC, many of the references were from other Republicans. You have Republican presidential candidate and former Trump official Nikki Haley. You have Republican governor of New Hampshire, Chris Sununu, all insulting his cognitive ability. Because here's the thing. It has been an effective wedge for the Trump campaign to attack President Biden's mental fitness because President Biden is a bit of a gaffe machine, right? And it's caused majorities, substantial majorities of Americans, according to polls, to question President Biden's physical and mental fitness for office. So the Biden-Harris campaign has finally caught on and, and the mainstream media seems to be finally paying close attention to it that, okay, by that standard, there's plenty to talk about with Donald Trump. And the recent polling seems to indicate that it's starting to make a dent, right? So this is from a recent uh, Ipsos ABC poll. It says, Trump's ratings for mental sharpness and physical health both are down seven points from last May, okay? Now, he enjoys an advantage still over President Biden, to be sure, in that only 28% think that President Biden has the mental sharpness it takes to effectively serve as president. But only 47% feel the same about Donald Trump, which means a majority of Americans believe Donald Trump is not mentally fit enough to serve as president. And that means the Biden-Harris campaign has to constantly keep hammering at this to try to reduce that gap to say, OK, you think I'm weak here? Well, so are you. And that means the American people have to look to other things uh, to determine who to choose in the next election. And they're banking on the fact that Biden is just simply a better person and a better president than Donald Trump, and that will help them carry the day. But beyond questioning 
Donald Trump's mental fitness. There's a word that Donald Trump hates above all else when it's directed at him, and that's the word loser. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, since President Biden started to turn on the campaign this January, you know, just in the past month, he has persistently and relentlessly referred to Donald Trump as a loser. I want to play one of the most recent clips from one of the most recent Biden speeches, and then again, we'll unpack it together. So I want to start with a very simple message. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you ever doubt that, the power to change America is in your hands. Remember this, you proved it. You're the reason I am president. You're the reason. Kamala Harris is historic vice president. And you're the reason Donald Trump is a defeated former president. You're the reason. Donald Trump is a loser, and you're the reason we're going to win and beat him again. So he has constantly been hammering that point. Donald Trump is a loser, right? And here's the funny thing. According to sources close to Donald Trump, seems to be working. Biden is employing a familiar tactic, though one that's relatively new for him. He's hoping to throw off Donald Trump right off his campaign message by taking jabs at his likely Republican opponent. Recently, Biden has been mocking Trump, calling him things like loser and emphasizing the former in former president. A person close to Trump actually says that he's rattled by Biden's efforts to get under his skin. Aides to the president's reelection campaign, though, tell CNN that the taunting will keep up as they shift into general election mode. President Biden. Good absolutely good it should continue for various reasons but i want to play another clip from boris here on cnn going into a bit more detail about this the, the other fascinating thing about this though it's is it's actually working against trump he's getting frustrated by this yeah people close to trump tell us that that uh, they would prefer that the that trump stay on the arguments about the economy and immigration and those sorts of things but that they cannot control trump that he hears this he's seeing what biden's saying he's hearing what biden's saying and it gets under his skin and then he lashes back yes because donald trump is a thin-skinned malignant narcissist who needs constant validation. And thank God the president is finally exploiting that. He went so far as to retweet uh, the Joe Biden official Twitter page retweeted that clip from CNN talking about how sources close to Trump say that the taunting is working. And then he taunted Trump further in the retweet by quoting uh, a, a an expression from Melania Trump, be best, that she used in her anti-bullying campaign. So it seems to be a signal from Joe Biden that he is prepared to bully the greatest bully in American politics. But again, I want to emphasize, it's not just President Biden saying that you know, Donald Trump is a loser. Trump supporters are saying that Trump is a loser. This is Chris Sununu, a Republican governor of New Hampshire, who has said that if it comes down to Biden and Trump in the general election, he's going to vote Trump. He has made that abundantly clear. But this is how he describes Trump, the leader of his party. Uh, with Donald Trump at the head of the, the party, we lose. We, we lost in 2020. We, we should have had the red wave in 22. The, he's a loser. He is candidates are losers. I'm tired of losing. Uh, he doesn't bring the, the right um, a brand, if you will, to the table, and he doesn't galvanize the party or the country together. So I appreciate J.D. Vance is hoping to get a job. And So again, when your own, when members of your own party are publicly calling you a loser, that has got to sting to somebody like Donald Trump. And again, President Biden is right to exploit it. Uh, a Representative Garcia, a Democrat, also goes into detail about why uh, President Biden is taking this approach as a surrogate of the Biden campaign. I do. I mean, first, he is a loser. And uh, President Biden is actually the only person that's beat Donald Trump um, at the ballot box for, for president. And so I, I think that, that President Biden um, has a record to run on, uh, whether it's you know lowering the price of insulin, whether it's infrastructure, climate, but he also is going to punch back. And I think that President Biden right now is gearing up for what's going to be a tough election. We all know that. It's, elections are now close. Every presidential is. But President Biden, I think, is um, leaning in. His campaign is leaning in. That's the absolute right approach. He's going to travel the country. The vice president is traveling the country, and they're going to remind the country what's at stake. You have on one hand, essentially, someone that wants to be a dictator that actually led a attack on the Capitol. 
and you have a president um, that's delivered for the American people. And so um, I, I'm, I'm glad to see this, uh, the president being out there, and I look forward to a little bit more of his jabs as well. As do I, 100%. I mean, and, and again, you know, this is, we haven't really seen this, um, certainly not from Biden. Biden has a bit of this energy too, and this, this what the, they call the dark brand in energy or the Uncle Joe from Scranton energy, right? He can get feisty. He can bring some of that feisty old man energy. But there's been so much self-imposition of civility politics on the Democratic Party. And listen, I'm not saying that we go full MAGA, right? I certainly do not believe that the Democrats should just collectively sink to the depths of MAGA. But what I am saying is that when you're dealing with the least civil, the I mean, the, con the most consistently least civil political movement in modern America history, the F you're feeling snowflake party, the F you're feeling snowflake movement, the party that constantly insults and demeans and mocks others. Donald Trump constantly insults his political opponents, and he loves the word loser when it leaves his mouth referring to others. He just can't handle it being sent back to him. I think it's important to demonstrate that, that listen, we've been patient, we've been civil, we've tried to hug the anger out of you guys. It's not working. So now we're going to start rhetorically hitting back, especially against Donald Trump, the leader of the party, right? President Biden isn't insulting day-to-day -day MAGA Republicans in terms of those who vote, right? He's insulting the political leaders of this movement, and he should because they objectively suck. That's the thing. When President Biden refers to Donald Trump as a loser, he's actually not even necessarily insulting him. He's just describing him accurately. Donald Trump won one election, in 2016, he didn't even win the popular vote. He didn't never had a popular mandate in this country. He won in 2016, and then ever since then, his leadership of the Republican Party has been one defeat after another, as Governor Sununu points out. He is objectively a loser. So, I think there's plenty of fodder there. I think there's plenty of substantive basis to refer to him as a loser. And apparently, according to sources, it seems to be working. So I think President Biden should continue to ruthlessly pursue this and to try all kinds of creative ways to troll MAGA and to troll Trump and keep the pressure on. Biden is the much better president. He's the much better man. And hopefully those facts will manifest themselves in a positive outcome in November 2024. Let me know what you think in the comments.